Vanilla is a key ingredient in so many fragrances. So today I'm here to share with you my vanilla roundup. I'm going to be talking about all my vanilla prominent scents. If you're interested, then just keep watching. So before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this is my vanilla video. I have been talking about this video for ages now it seems, but <laughs> I kept wanting to play around my vanillas. I really wanted to make this a good go-to video for you all to refer back to at any time. Now, of course, I do not own every single vanilla fragrance, and I'm sure there are gonna be some that you probably don't believe that I don't have. <laughs> However, I own a lot of vanillas. I love vanilla. And so hopefully you find this video helpful. We're just going to be talking about every single vanilla in my collection. I have broken it up into several categories, which we'll get into in a moment. So again, just to reiterate, the fragrances that I am talking about in this video are going to be vanilla prominent. It's not gonna be any fragrance that has vanilla in it. I mean, pretty much every fragrance has vanilla in it. These are the ones that to me, when I see them, I immediately think, vanilla fragrance. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So the first category is the spicy and or a boozy category. Now I have to say I love this category of vanillas. I mean I love all of these vanillas obviously but I think spicy boozy kind of really has my heart. So these will be in no particular order but the first fragrance we have is Zerzhov Ivory Root. So like I said this is a spicy vanilla and to me the vanilla in this is quite smoky, quite deep. And then the spices are really, really prominent in this. In the opening of this, I actually feel like the spices take over more, but as this fragrance dries down, then the spice and vanilla are equally as prominent, but I still classify this as a vanilla scent. The spice in this is very interesting as well. If you see the notes that I'm gonna have listed, then I advise you to take those with a grain of salt because Zerzhov has said that these notes are a secret. However, the notes that you're seeing, I pulled from Fragrantica, so I do not know how accurate they are because Zerzhov, the company that makes it, says they're keeping it a secret. So take those notes with a grain of salt. But for me, this smells like bay leaf. <laughs> yes, bay leaf that you cook with, mixed with some other spices like cardamom, um, almost smells like there's some cedar in there as well. And then that beautiful, smoky, luxurious smelling vanilla. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's long wearing. I think it's perfectly unisex as well. And I tend to wear this more so in the colder weather, but I think you can get away with it at night, any time of year. So that was Zerzhov Ivory Root. The next fragrance I have is Dior Vanilla Diorama. I feel like I talk about this a ton, but I absolutely love it. This is a vanilla that is mixed with some orange and some lime or either bergamot, I believe. And at the opening, it's quite fresh, but then it dries down to more of a creamy orange vanilla. And I decided to put this in the spicy category just because the vanilla in this is quite spicy. It's a little bit boozy, but not too much. So you'll probably notice that a lot of these fragrances can go in like multiple different categories. I just tried to separate them <laughs> as best as I could. But to me, the vanilla in this is a little bit spicy. And so that's why it's in this category. But this one is one that I feel like can be worn year round. I think it's perfectly unisex. Now, of course, I do think this is probably more suited for cold weather because it is a bit heavier, kind of sweeter vanilla. But the way that it wears on the skin is kind of light wearing. So I actually wore this at the end of summer when I got it and it wasn't overpowering at all to me. It was not cloying to me, but you know, to each his own. So that is Vanilla Diorama. So next up is one that I think of as more of a basic vanilla, and this is Nuit et Confidences by Anique Goutal. Now, when I say basic, I do not mean that in a bad way at all. I say basic as far as, like it's pretty much just vanilla with spices, in my opinion, when I smell it. I don't get like any fruits or anything like that. This is mainly just a very beautiful, luxurious smelling vanilla that is spicy, slightly smoky, and maybe just a tad, maybe a tad bit powdery, but not really. It's just a very like comforting scent. 
to me this is just vanilla done the most right way possible and even though i'm calling it a basic vanilla i'm using basic in the sense of this is the type of vanilla that everybody should have in their collection not saying this particular one but this type of vanilla i feel like is relevant to every single person's collection so that is nui et confidences by anit gutal so next up i have absolute aphrodisiac so this one is a very smooth sexy vanilla there is something quite intoxicating about this fragrance that makes me want to keep smelling it over and over. Now this one does have a bit of a fizzy nature to it in my opinion. It kind of smells like you could have some almond in there mixed with the vanilla. But overall this is a vanilla prominent scent. I also think it has castorium in there which is some sort of animalic note. And in my opinion, I don't know what castorium smells like. But in my opinion this does not really smell animalic but there is something quite addictive smelling about it so maybe that's the castorium i really don't know because like i said i don't know what castorium smells like i know people get weird about animalic notes and i am the same way and that castorium note that is in this fragrance kept me from buying it for a long time i'm not gonna lie i was a little scared of it but it smells absolutely amazing y'all amazing so this is absolute aphrodisiac Next up is Vani Tonka. Now this one is one of my brighter, spicier scents. So even though it's quite spicy, I feel like it can be worn year round. So the vanilla in this is a little bit sweet, but not overly so. And because of that, I think this will be perfect for anybody. I think it's perfectly unisex. And then the spices in this are quite bright. When I smell this, it makes me think happy thoughts. It's just quite bright, uplifting and just smells so good and unique in my opinion. So although it's spicy, I definitely think this is one I can wear in warm weather because it's quite bright and uplifting. So that is Nikolai Parfums Vani Tonka. So the next fragrance that I have is Divine Vani from Essential Parfums. So to me, this is a spicy vanilla that's still pretty lightweight. This is very transparent, um, it smells kind of peppery and kind of like there is tobacco in here even though I don't believe tobacco is a note but it's done in a very lightweight way and so I feel like this is like a good everyday type scent I can wear this year round even in the summer it's never too much it's quite light but it still smells really good and pretty unique so I highly suggest checking this out if you haven't tried anything from essential parfums because this one is probably the most popular one from the line and I love it and these fragrances are not very expensive and they're niche fragrances made by big name perfumers. So yeah, that is Divine Vanille from Essential Parfums. Next up is Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. So this fragrance is a staple in the fragrance community. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people have this in, in their collection and that is for good reason. As the name would imply, this is a tobacco and vanilla scent. And I almost didn't include this in the video because to me, the tobacco is pretty prominent in the opening and so I was kind of thinking of thinking of it as a tobacco scent but when this dries down the vanilla to me is more prominent than the tobacco and so it's in this video <laughs> but anyway the tobacco in this is so sweet so smooth and the vanilla is spicy and dark and sexy this is definitely like a nighttime scent or cold weather scent. I mean, I wear it during the day, during the cold, but I not, would not wear this type of vanilla in the heat because it is quite sweet and quite spicy. And I think it could become cloying in the heat. But overall, this is such a beautiful scent and I think it sits perfectly unisex. So the last fragrance in this category is another one from Tom Ford and this is Vanille Fatale. So this one to me is a beautiful, sweeter take on that Tom Ford vanilla. This one definitely smells like it could have some nuances of like almond in it. And in some ways it kind of gives you Play-Doh vibes, but not in a bad way. It does not smell cheap at all. But when I smell it, sometimes it kind of gives me a little bit of a Play-Doh vibe. This is still a deeper, darker vanilla that I would reserve for fall, winter, or nighttime. I would not wear this in the dead of summer out in the heat, but it is quite gorgeous. It is not super heavy but it's also not light either. It's pretty moderate performing and I think this is one that a lot of people will like. And I also think this is a unique smelling vanilla. So that is Vanille Fatale from Tom Ford. All right, so that was it for my spicy boozy category. I'm going to recommend one fragrance from this category that I think kind of 
this rounds up this category and then i think that if you're searching for vanilla that's a spicy boozy vanilla the one i would recommend is nui et confidences by neat gutal and like i said when i was talking about it i just feel like this is the type of vanilla that everybody should have in their collection so this is the one i would recommend the most out of those that i just mentioned so the next category that i have is my green and or aromatic vanillas so first up in this category is diptyque Oldwell. So this one is what I think of when I think about an aromatic vanilla. It is light, fresh, but at the same time the vanilla is still there. So this to me is one of those year round vanillas. And overall I think most green vanillas are suitable to wear pretty much year round. Now some of the ones we're going to talk about, no. <laughs> but I think overall as a category green vanillas are a little bit easier to wear because they're typically fresher anyway this one just smells kind of herbal it smells very clean and spa like and i think this one is great for anybody perfectly unisex and it's quite unique so that is diptyque eau de well and i have the eau de toilette version they also have an eau de parfum version but i think they smell pretty similar next up i have atelier cologne's vanille ensemble and I will tell you, to me, this is a very different smelling vanilla. I kind of didn't know where to put this in the category, so it ended up in the green slash aromatic category. But, I mean, it really could go anywhere. This, to me, the vanilla is not really sweet in this fragrance. And I think that's one of the things that makes this very different to me. So, you can definitely smell the vanilla. It smells very smooth. It smells slightly spicy, but not really. And then there is lime in this fragrance as well, which you can definitely can smell. And then there's some woody notes. But to me, this is just like some type of vanilla that I have never smelled. I don't think this is for everybody because like I said, it is quite unique. I'm not sure like why this vanilla smells so different than a lot of other vanillas, but I happen to love this scent. And I think it's a great year round scent, perfectly unisex. So again, that is Vanille Ensemble from Atelier Colognes. Next up, I have Louis Vuitton Contre Moi. Now this fragrance is very herbal, very aromatic vanilla. It has some orange blossom in it as well, but it is not a sweet fragrance. This to me honestly smells a little bit bitter. So if you only like sweeter vanillas, this is definitely not for you. <laughs> because to me, this is not a sweet vanilla at all. It's just very herbal, aromatic, almost grassy, but you can still smell the vanilla, which I feel like is amazing. So I definitely don't think this is for everybody, but I think it's really unique and I happen to love the way that it smells on me, but I know this will not be for everybody because it is quite green. This is probably the most aromatic herbal vanilla that I have to share with you. So this is Louis Vuitton Contre Moi. The next fragrance I have is from Jo Malone and this is Vetiver and Golden Vanilla. Now this is one that I almost didn't include because to me the Vetiver is probably the most prominent note initially but as this dries down the vanilla becomes more prominent so I went ahead and included it. <laughs> but the Vetiver in this does smell grassy so if you're not into Vetiver don't even look at this fragrance but the way it's combined with this very like smooth luxurious smelling vanilla i love this fragrance again it's not for everybody but i think this is one you should try on your skin if you get an opportunity to because it's quite unique it's deep dark and smells very luxurious and you won't smell like anybody else <laughs> not many people are going to be wearing vetiver and golden vanilla but I love it. So that is Vetiver and Golden Vanilla by Jo Malone. Next up is one of my all time favorite fragrances and this is Nishane Ani. So this is very popular. It is a citrusy kind of green vanilla scent. Now the vanilla in this is sweet, but not overly sweet. It's not a cupcake type vanilla. This is a vanilla that is very sophisticated but has some sweetness to it. This fragrance also has ginger in there, which gives it quite a bit of a kick, especially at the opening. And then you also get those beautiful green citrus notes. I believe bergamot is in this and possibly lime. I don't know if it's both right off hand, but one or the other definitely. And to me, that sticks around the entire wear of this fragrance. Now, when this fragrance is first sprayed to me, the greenness is a lot more prominent, but as this fragrance wears, as it dries down, the vanilla becomes a lot more prominent. And this is an enveloping type of vanilla. This is one that like you are going to smell that cloud of fragrance around you 
and everybody else is going to smell you too it's so intoxicating i love it like i said this is one of my top 10 fragrances so <laughs> obviously i love it but you have to smell this one that's nishane ani the next fragrance that i have to share is mon guerlain by guerlain so this fragrance is a lavender vanilla and that's why i put in this aromatic ca category However, the vanilla in this is so sweet that it really makes this fragrance smell very feminine, even though it's mixed with lavender. A lot of times lavender can be associated with men's fragrances. And so I think it's hard to wear for a lot of women. But the lavender in this is overtaken by this beautiful, smooth, sweet vanilla. And so I think this is 100% feminine in my opinion. I mean, if you're a man and you wear this, then kudos to you. But for me, this smells 100% feminine. And I just think it's a very pretty scent. So that is Mon Guerlain from Guerlain. The last fragrance in this category is Lolita Limpica Green Lover. So it's obviously a green vanilla. This one does smell like gin mixed with vanilla, <laughs> which may sound gross. And when you first spray it, it's a lot. Like it smells green and it smells like gin and it smells like vanilla. However, after it dries down on the skin, the vanilla becomes a lot more prominent. You still have that greenness there and you still have the smell of gin there, but those go to the background and the vanilla is just a really beautiful vanilla. But I will say at first sniff, this it can be off-putting for a lot of people. <laughs> So this is not one I would recommend to like blind buy because it is not going to be for everybody. I think this is actually marketed towards men and I could definitely see a man wearing this, but I think it's unisex. So that is Lolita Limpica Green Lover. All right, so out of that category, the one that I would recommend if you're looking to try a green or aromatic vanilla would be Diptyque Eau Dwell because I feel like it gives you that good aromatic vanilla experience without going too far. I feel like this is probably the most likable scent in this category, although it's not my favorite, but I feel like this one would be the safest buy if you're looking to try an aromatic vanilla. So the next category is soft and or powdery vanillas. So first up, I have Serge Luton's Um Bois Vanille. To me, this is a cloud when I smell it. A cloud of vanilla. So I believe in this fragrance, there is some coconut, there are some woods in this fragrance, and of course, a beautiful, sweet vanilla. But to me, all of these things combined just form like a fluffy, cloud-like vanilla, a little bit powdery. The coconut, to me, really helps this become a more unique vanilla. It doesn't smell like a cupcake, even though it's quite sweet. It still smells sophisticated, and it still gives me that enveloping hug that I love from a vanilla fragrance. So that is Um Bois Vanille. Next up is Tom Ford Metalique. Now this fragrance is a airy, beautiful, cloud-like vanilla that is mixed with aldehydes, and so it gives it that kind of fresh, clean, almost metallic type smell to it but it's done so well this now this is not for everybody because i know some people can't get down with the aldehydes in this and they think it smells like too much like metal but in my opinion try this on your skin it's so unique it's so good the vanilla in this is just a1 but then it has that unique turn to it this is actually one that i can wear year round it's never it's never too heavy it's a quite soft wearing scent. So that is Tom for Metalik. The next fragrance I have is from Nishane and this is 100 Silent Ways. So to me, this is a very light and airy vanilla mixed with some florals, but to me, the vanilla really stands out in this fragrance. It also has some fruity notes in there too. It smells like peach. I think there's peach in this fragrance, but overall it just gives it a very like fruity floral vibe but covered with this beautiful, soft vanilla. Very womanly scent. <laughs> I love this fragrance. And it, whenever I wear it, I get compliments on it. So that is 100 Silent Ways from Nishane. The last fragrance that I have from this category is Zerzhov Adama Bianca. So to me, this is a light, fluffy, cloudy, vanilla mixed with florals now initially when i got this i thought the florals would be the most prominent note with just a little bit of vanilla but i actually feel like it's the other way around this vanilla is quite sweet fluffy airy and then these beautiful florals and 
kumquat which gives it a fruity smell as well so this is a nice like sweet feminine scent that's never too heavy and just gorgeous so that is Dama Bianca from Zerzhov. So from this category, the one that I think most people would like would be Zerzhov Dama Bianca. I just feel like it embodies that soft powdery vanilla and although it's unique, it's still very, very likable. So the next category I have are the sweet vanillas. So these are the more gourmand vanillas in my collection. So first up is Vanilla Woods from Seven Virtues. And this to me is a beautiful, very smooth vanilla mixed with some pear. And I believe there are some woody notes in the background, but don't be scared off by woods in the name. To me, this is mainly just a sweet, fruity vanilla that has a very little bit of depth in the background. So I think this is a super easy to wear scent. I feel like most women will like this because it is sweet. And although it's sweet, it does not smell juvenile. So I will say that with these sweet vanillas, I don't think that any of them smell juvenile, which I know can be a problem when you're thinking about sweet vanillas, uh, because I feel like people's minds just automatically go to Bath and Body Works vanilla, <laughs> which I'm not saying is a bad thing, but I think that's what people think about and they think about cheaper vanilla scents. The ones that I'm sharing with you in this sweet vanilla category, I don't think any of them smell cheap and I don't think any of them smell too juvenile. But anyway, this one is an easy grab for most people, I believe. And this is Vanilla Woods from The Seven Virtues. Next up, we have the infamous Kayali Vanilla 28. So this one smells like brown sugar and vanilla. It's really sweet. It's a little bit deep as well. And this one to me smells quite edible. It just smells so delicious when you smell it. So obviously I love this one. I know it's super popular right now and it's hard to find, but it's for good reason in my opinion. Although it's like really deep and thick smelling and it has that brown sugar in there, kind of gives it that syrupy smell. I don't think that it's overpowering in the heat because this is still kind of a lighter fragrance. I mean, it's not light, but it's also not a beast. So you can spray this one lightly and I think you can still wear it year round, even though it's a sugary sweet fragrance. So that is Vanilla 28 from Kaoli. The next fragrance that I have is from La Maison de la Vani and this is Vani Fleury de Tahiti. Hopefully I am saying that correctly, but this is a fruity, floral, very sweet vanilla. So to me, the vanilla in this is just so sweet and so thick. It's like a heavy vanilla scent, but it's combined with some fruits. I don't know what type of fruits right now, but it smells like a tropical fruit that is combined with and a little bit of floral nature to it. This one smells quite yummy. I wouldn't necessarily want to eat this um, because I do smell those florals in there, but it's pretty. this is a pretty like thick, sweet, candy-like vanilla. But because you have those tropical fruits in there, I have actually worn this in the summertime and really enjoyed it. So <laughs> that is Vani Fleury de Tahiti. Next up, we have Molinar Vani Fruité. And again, this is a sweet vanilla mixed with tropical fruits. And to me, these smell kind of similar, except this one is not as thick and syrupy, but it still has that same level of sweetness. This one is probably a little bit easier to wear in the heat because like I said, it doesn't feel as thick. And so I don't think it would get too cloying for most people. But again, it gives me those same tropical fruit vibes along with this very sweet vanilla. So that is Molinar Vanille Fruité. And then the last one in this category is from Lolita Limpica, and this is Lolita Land. Now, this is a newer fragrance in my collection, but I've worn it, I think, about three or four times already. This one is a creamy orange and vanilla scent. So at first spray, it smells like an orange soda, in my opinion. But as it dries down, the vanilla definitely becomes more prominent, but that orange is still always there. And it's like a fizzy orange. It's quite pretty. I love this scent. It is really sweet though. And it's kind of a candy-like scent. It's quite fun and it's really unique. So that is Lolita Land from Lolita Limpica. So out of that category, the one that I would recommend would be Kayali Vanilla 28. And it's love for good reason. It's quite sweet, but it's done so well. It smells really delicious while still smelling 
quite luxurious and it layers well with tons of things. So that would be my pick from this category. All right, and the last category that we have are salty vanillas. We're almost done here because I only have two from this category. <laughs> but the first one from this category is Vanilla Vibes from Juliet Has a Gun. So this one to me is a quintessential salty vanilla scent. It's not heavy, it's not too skin-like, but you do get that those skin-like properties that I love from a salty vanilla. So it kind of smells like a person's skin after they leave the beach. It kind of gives off coconut vibes as well, even though I don't think coconut is in this. And I think this is actually a unisex scent. I love this one. It layers really well. It's perfect for warm weather, but I find that I can wear this year round. So that is Vanilla Vibes from Juliet Has a Gun. And then the last fragrance I have is from Armani Privé and this is Blue Turquoise. So this one is a quite unique take on a salty vanilla. Of course, that vanilla is still there. Salty is very beautiful. But in addition to that, you also have some pepper and incense, I believe. And that gives it kind of this like, smoky quality but not too much so i still still think this is perfect for year round but i think the added things in this definitely make it more unique that makes it more sexy i love this scent i love this one so that is blue turquoise from armani Privé. now out of this category the one i would recommend would be vanilla vibes because i think this one is just more simple and i think if you're looking to get into a salty vanilla then this one would be like a first step to see if you like it. So <laughs> that's the one I'll pick from this category. So I know this video was really long. So if you're still watching, kudos to you. I am so tired of talking. My mouth is dry, but I really wanted to do a video containing all of my vanilla fragrances because I felt like that was important for me to do. I love vanilla, but there's so many options out there. I hope you found this video helpful and that you can use it as a guide if you're out shopping for your next vanilla or if you just love vanilla fragrances like me and you want to add more to your collection, then hopefully this is helpful for you too. In the comments below, I would like for you to leave me your top three vanillas. If you have any questions about the fragrances I mentioned, definitely leave it down below. I couldn't give you full reviews on every single one of these fragrances because we would have been here like two more hours. <laughs> But if you have any questions about anything I mentioned, leave it down below and I'll try to answer it as quickly as I can. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and have your notification bells on. And if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and do that now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.